What Remains of Edith Finch is one of the most creative games I have ever played, and one of the best games to come out this year. It tells a great story in a way that only a video game can, and it's well worth the price of admission, even if it is a bit short. Now, before I go further into the review, I think it's important to note that this game is only two hours long, and I think it's best to go in without knowing anything about it. So for those who don't want any details spoiled, I can tell you that it's a walking simulator with actual gameplay, and it has one of the most incredible and creative sequences I've ever seen in a video game. That being said, in order to talk about the game at all, I have to spoil some very minor details. These are all details that I knew before I played it, and they didn't ruin anything for me. But, if you want to go in completely blind, you can click here to skip to the final verdict. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. In What Remains of Edith Finch, you play as Edith, a girl who returns to her old family house in order to discover the secrets of her deceased family members. These flashbacks each have their own gameplay mechanic, and they are not only a great storytelling device, but they are creative as hell. Seriously, I have to commend the level of craft and creativity in this game, because it takes things that would normally be sad or mundane and turns them into great, fantastical experiences. And honestly, in my opinion, I think these moments alone make the game worth playing. Now, that's not to discredit the rest of the narrative, because I think the main story is also very good. It gets pretty emotional at times, and it leaves the player with something to think about afterwards, and I really enjoy when a game is able to do that. Like I said before, I want to spoil as little as possible, so I'll leave it at that. What Remains of Edith Finch has a lot more gameplay than most quote-unquote walking simulators on the market, and it doesn't feel tacked on either. The small gameplay segments are perfectly implemented into each family member's story, and they work beautifully at telling a compelling narrative as well as keeping the player engaged. However, I do think it's worth mentioning that your actions don't have any impact on how the events in the story turn out. That's not a bad thing at all, and that type of gameplay wouldn't really work with this story but I'm just mentioning it so people better understand what kind of gameplay it is without it being spoiled. While this game isn't the most technically advanced game out there, the graphics still look pretty great and the game has a very unique storybook art style to it. It honestly felt like you were exploring the inside of a beautifully detailed pop-up book, which made for a pretty cool experience. Speaking of detail, the house itself is full of it, with objects filling every little crevice and giving the house a real lived-in feeling. There are also several bits of story hidden within the house that help blur the lines between the fantasy of the gameplay and the reality of the Finch's stories. The music also does a great job of adding to the atmosphere without ever feeling overbearing. Most of the tracks were more subtle and were used to help create the melancholic tone of the game, but some of them were more grand and they perfectly accompanied major story beats or set pieces within the game. Now, while this game is incredibly creative and it succeeds in many different areas, there are a few minor problems. One of the most notable being on the technical side with some frame rate drops and texture pop-in, with the texture pop-in being the more noticeable of the two. The other main problem is some of the control during the gameplay sections. It was nothing serious at all, but sometimes it did feel just a bit rough around the edges. It's a very minor complaint, but I thought it was worth mentioning. Also, one gameplay section in particular that included a camera wasn't quite as direct as I think it should have been, which resulted in me standing around like an idiot for a minute before I realized what I needed to do. However, these minor problems do little to detract from the amazing experience that What Remains of Edith Finch provided. In the end, What Remains of Edith Finch takes you on an amazing journey through the fantastical and heartbreaking layers of the Finch family. The game is a short one, and I kind of wish there was even more to dive into because I absolutely love what the game had to offer. This game may not be for everyone, but as far as storytelling and video games go, this sits up there as one of the best examples of it. <laughs>